A replica airboat skimmed across the rainy surface of the St. Petersburg Yacht Basin exactly 100 years and 7 minutes after the original seaplane lifted off into the history books. At 10 a.m. on January 1, 1914, celebrity pilot Tony Janus hoisted the first scheduled commercial airline flight into the air with one passenger aboard before a crowd of 3,000 people equivalent to a startling 75% of the city's population. The modern plane flew higher and faster than the 50 feet and 50 miles an hour Janus hit on his 17-mile flight. It demonstrated that uh, this was a viable commercial uh, business that could be pursued and developed, and a lot of people were watching, and our aviation history today is, is proof of that. Pilot Eddie Hubbard, Jr., a native of St. Petersburg, was rowed out to the airboat and started the engine of the Hoffman X-4 Mullet Skiff, which also flew in a recreation of the event in 2000. It's not about me, it's not about any of us. It's, to me, it's about those guys here in St. Petersburg that uh, had the vision that this was going to be something really, really big. A Tampa reenactor says the 24-year-old Janice was already famous for his flying feats, dating movie actresses, and for his charisma. Outgoing, precarious, quick with a joke, always a smile on his face, very popular with the ladies. Hubbard's plane was a late substitution for an historically accurate replica of the 1914 plane, but the builders could not get the plane going fast enough to leave the water. My New, Year, New Year's resolution is to fly this across Tampa Bay in 2014. Today, the nation's airlines carry 2 million passengers a day on 30,000 flights, but the arc of commercial aviation started on a calm but cool day right here after the city agreed to a 90-day subsidy to avoid an all-day auto trip, even in a Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost with a top speed faster than the planes, or hours on a boat or train to reach Tampa. I'm Bob Hill reporting from the North Yacht Basin. Thrilled to be here 100 years! In St. Petersburg.